everybody. Welcome if you are new. My name is Linda and today I'm going to talk about Gamehole Con. I went virtually this year and I wanted to show my experience. I know um, I've been to several virtual conventions and this is probably the third or fourth. I can't keep track anymore. But Virtual Gamehole Con uh, was also held on Discord but you could move over to whatever you want to just like Gary Con. So for me I enjoyed it. It was organized, but I also liked the fact that a lot of uh, people were willing to help. So I had three games that I was playing. Um, the first one was called Chasing Adventures. Spencer, if you're watching this, you were a great DM. The people who played with me, you guys were good too. I know um, that it was a take on D and D, but I'm not sure exactly where all the games that you had for Spencer was the one who made the system and basically from there you don't roll damage um, You roll conditions. So pretty much you try to hit the person. So it's kind of like um, You both roll and if I hit you you get a condition so you can be exhausted confused Whatever I want to pick now if I roll and I feel like the creature doesn't have any conditions that they could get, like they're demystified in any way, I could just say, oh, uh, that person or that creature can't attack me. I'll just back up and avoid the attack. So from there, I enjoyed that system. Spencer has a PDF uh, available. It's only 10 bucks. Not bad for virtual conventions and tabletop gaming. So if you want, it's definitely available. Chasing Adventures is the name of the system. He does have a Discord if you want to play anytime or try it out. He is always running some games or there's other people in the communities that are running the games and basically they're very skilled in the system so they know what they're doing. Next on the list was I played a Call of Cthulhu game. Um, this one was pre-generated characters. Uh, the person who ran it, I believe his name was Edward. I could be wrong, but if, if your name was Edward, I hope. Um, I know it was basically Pulp Cthulhu instead of Call of Cthulhu. Um, never played Pulp Cthulhu before. This was one of my first games playing it. And he ran a really great game. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Um, it was fun because a couple people had never played Call of Cthulhu at all. So when I had a condition, um, for those who don't know, if you play Call of Cthulhu, you can get conditions where you're paranoid about something and my paranoia was I was paranoid of men. So any man I ever saw, I had to scream and run or, or hide or try to avoid depending on the situation. And so it was hilarious to have to pretend scream at random men. I loved it. I had fun with it. I enjoyed it. It was a good time. And I loved the creatures that um, the DM had picked. Basically, there was some winged creatures, wings, and they were flapping around and they were really scary sketchy it was it was a good adventure you had uh, to be in a blimp so the blimp did not you know could crash could not make it and thankfully we made it to our destination and got what we needed met some creatures that were trying to mess with our minds and we bounced so I like that one I always like Call of Cthulhu I'm more into horror for anybody who doesn't know I love me some horror anything as much as I could Moving on to the next, the third and final one, and that was called Free Grazers. I've never played Free Grazers before at all, just like Chasing Adventures. Um, this one is kind of a mashup of several games. Basically, you are pretty much humanoids, or you could be aliens, monsters, whatever you want to be, and the government has taken over and pretty much you are in control of them or if you don't want to be in control of them you could be a free person a free grazer and you just have to live on your own and get money and credits and pretty much you have like an earpiece in your ear and anytime you want to add health talk to anybody do anything you have to talk to somebody into the free market and roll credits it's kind of like um I forgot the name of it, but Justin Timberlake was in it. I'll put a picture up here of the movie I was talking about and where you had to earn credits to 
earn life and it kind of reminded me of that. It was a fun game. I had a great time. Um, Erica, if you are watching and oh man, I forgot the the DM's name, the GM's name now. But um, thank you so much to both of you for playing an amazing game. I enjoyed it. Pretty much we had to find the lost love of a T-Rex. She lost her husband, her husband was gone, and we had to go find her husband. Thankfully we found her husband and we solved the, the mystery and got rid of the bad person and uh, it was a good time. I never had to look for a T-Rex before. It was it was an interesting take on a game. It kind of reminded me of Aliens RPG, but not any aliens at all. So for me, overall, I enjoyed Virtual Game Hole Con. I wish, I will say though, I wish that uh, I was able to pick up a t-shirt. I bought a t-shirt like I did for Gary Con. And I guess they had one of those systems where you had to buy enough t-shirts in order to make the cut quota. Um, I've never had that happen before with a t-shirt company other than other YouTubers who they use that system and you, you know up front, like if we don't make enough t-shirt sales, we're not going to make it. Um, so if anybody from Gamehole Con is watching this, just put a disclaimer next time because I was so expecting a t-shirt, got so excited and I loved the design. It was a beholder and um, I, I think they sell them at the regular convention, but um, it was a beholder and it said virtual and it said 2.0 and I really wanted to pick one up and I'm not going to make one myself because I don't, I wanted to give you guys the, the support, but yeah, I, I wish you had another option to where we can just buy it outright. And I get it, you know, you, you don't want to make so many t-shirts and not sure who's going to buy them, but that was my only, my only pet peeve, I would, I would say. It wasn't really a pet peeve, it was just like a disappointment. So maybe next year, please put that on there, that um, you have to hit a certain number of sales before we can actually buy our t-shirts. That's the only thing I have. Um, I did like that uh, they had support like the other one, so... From all in the ones that I've been before, I will say though, I do wish that they had like um, a better communication as to somewhere where I can see what games are running and if anybody needs some slots filled for a table. I know I uh, saw several people um, talking in the chat about that they were not able to find anybody to play with their game and people backed out at the last minute because we all have lives. But just better maybe communication on that because I know Gary Con they had plenty of like, hey, does anybody want to add to this table? Da, da 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 And I know I jumped into a table like that where somebody was like, hey, anybody want to try this game out? Um, I will have a pre-gen ready for you. Just jump in and we're good to go. So yeah. That's the only two things I would recommend for Game Hole Con. And I know several people who went to Game Hole Con, virtual Game Hole Con, said that they were going to go next year if they have it. So if anybody who's running the convention watches this, please have another virtual Game Hole Con for the rest of the times, for the rest of the years. Because if I can't make it out there, I would love to play some games and support you guys and show you some love and... I actually enjoy it. Like, I can play on Roll20 or Zoom or Discord or whatever they have available, and I enjoyed it. So, thank you so much to everybody who made this convention awesome. And if you're watching, let me know in the comments down below, and I will say hello, and hopefully, we can meet up again. I have been watching out for uh, Chasing Adventures and Free Grazers, and saw that. Some of the games that you guys were running were not on the days that I could make it because I either had another game going or I had work or I was doing something else for something with some buddies. But hopefully I can get another chance to play some Chasing Adventures or Free Grazers because I really enjoy those systems. But thank you to everybody who watched all the way to the end of the video. If you are enjoying tabletop gaming, let me know. If you're not, let me know. I'm open to people saying, hey, I only like video games, and that's cool. So I will catch you all next time. Stay safe out there, and keep on gaming. Bye, everybody. Linda, 
another gamer girl. She's here, she's playing games. Linda, the gamer girl. She's here, she's playing games.